In this video, I'm going to show you how, how to calculate the CAGR in Google Sheets. So CAGR stands for Compound Annual Growth Rate, and this is a kind of formula that is used in investment analysis to determine the returns on an investment over time. What this number is, is it's a number that represents the rate an investment would have grown if profits were reinvested at the end of each year and the investment grows at the same rate each year. Now, I'm not going to spend too much time going over the definition of this. What I want to focus on in this video is actually calculating it in Google Sheets. So if you're going to calculate it manually, this is the basic formula you would use. So you need the ending value, which is EV, the beginning value, which is BV, and N, which is the number of years. So to calculate it, you take the value in investment at the end of each period and you divide it by its value at the beginning of a period. And then what you do is you take the result and you raise it to an exponent of 1 divided by the number of years. And then you take that result and you subtract 1 from it. And then if you want to change it to a percentage, you would multiply it by 100. Or since we're in Google Sheets, you would actually just format that cell as percentage. So let me show you how to actually do this formula here. So you need these three values. You need the beginning value, the ending value, and the number of periods. And when you have those three values, then you can calculate the CAGR. So I'm going to do this here. So the first step is take the value of an investment at the end of each period and divide it by the value at the beginning of the period. So equals, I'm going to put this in quotation marks. We're going to do B2 divided by B1. So that's the first step. And then the next step, um, raise it to the exponent of 1 divided by number of years. So raise it to the exponent of, in quotations, 1 divided by number of years and then subtract 1. And now since we're in Google Sheets I actually don't need to uh, multiply it by 100 to change it to a percentage, I can just format as a percentage. And so you can see the CAGR in this example is 11.87%. So that is one way to calculate it, doing it manually. There's also a function called the RRI function which you can use to calculate it. And I'll go over that next. So this is the basic syntax of the function. It's RRI. Uh, the first argument is number of periods. Second argument is present value. Third argument is future value. And so to calculate the CAGR with this function, it's pretty simple. RRI, and then you need to put in your number of periods. And then you need to put in present value, future value, and then calculate the function. And you can see it returns the exact same thing. 11.87%. 11.87%. So those are two different ways of calculating the CAGR in Google Sheets. The RRI function is definitely the faster way. And once you learn how to do it, you'll probably just want to use this function. It is useful to learn how to do it manually because then you really start to understand the data a little bit better. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.